cryonic medical systems use liquefied carbon dioxide. The cylinders are equipped with a dipper tube which triggers the gases liquid phase when set to the normal position. The liquefaction temperature for carbon dioxide is constant at negative 78 degrees centigrade. Because the cartridge supplied with the portable system is not equipped with the dipper tube, it should be kept in a downward position when the system is in use. When using a gas cylinder, gently but firmly screw the gas connector on the kit onto the cylinder. Ensure that the kit is equipped with an airtight joint ring and safety filter. Turn the gas on at the cylinder. To use the cartridge, screw it until the two connectors are in contact. This can be checked by inspection via the Cryo-1 safety panel. The equipment is started and the gas released by simply pressing the trigger. Begin the treatment following the appropriate protocol. The gas cylinder does not need to be shut off or purged after use. When a cylinder or cartridge is empty, it emits a transparent gas that no longer forms crystals. This indicates that there is no more liquefied gas in the cylinder or cartridge which should be changed. To change the cylinder, the system must be purged in order to reduce the gas pressure. Shut the cylinder off and expel the gas by pressing the trigger. The connector can then be unscrewed. The cartridge should be unscrewed slowly. The residual pressure will escape via the safety panel. All systems are battery powered. The equipment should be recharged regularly to preserve the battery life. For systems equipped with the circuit breaker switch, this should always be turned to position I for recharging. The red light on the charger indicates that the battery is charging. The green light indicates that the battery is fully charged. The charger cuts out automatically to prevent overcharging. The equipment goes into standby mode after three minutes of non-use in order to preserve the battery charge. Refer to the instruction manual for any specific information on the cryonic model that you are using. To begin the treatment, follow the appropriate protocol.